You know, I see a lot of people, they just barge right on into a horse's corral, and this is her space, and I'd like to just share with you that maybe it wouldn't hurt to ask a little permission. How you doing, sweetheart? She says, it's early in the morning. What are we doing up? I thought you like to get up at the crack of noon. But a lot of times people go in and they've just got, we've got something kind of on our mind here and we've got what we've got on our mind and maybe not what's on the horse's mind. And if the horse is going to be our best friend, well then maybe we should treat it as such. And this is something that if I can give you just a little tip, what we can do is we can respect her space. Respect is an interesting thing. I've got to have respect for her, she's got to have respect for me, and each one of us have to have respect for ourselves. So I think this is something that uh, I like to bring up because the dignity of the horse is something that is really, really, really important to me. And it's important to horses too. But horses have got like a bubble around them. And the bubble goes over the top of them, goes over like this. We've got a bubble too, our bubble's in a circle. This is called personal space. They've got a long one, we got a tall one. So what I try to get people to understand is even if a horse is inside the corral and you're standing over there, maybe our bubbles are touching. So just a little tip, before you put the halter on, maybe what you might do is go around here, kind of look at her, say, geez, did you make your bed this morning? You know, just a few, just believe it or not, a few little things like this that build relationships instead of, okay, we got to go ride and here's that halter, I got to put that on. Maybe you can even take that halter and do something like this. Instead of putting it on her, how about you take it over here and say, you know, this is a instant foldable scratching post. Just take a few minutes and just give her a little scratch in here. And she says, what took you so long? Can't you get here earlier in the mornings? So my job here is to help people understand how horses feel, think, act, and play. And if we can just get you to look at life through the horse's eyes. Maybe you too may have a few dollars left and quite a bit of horse sense. Come on, Cash. We got some cattle to get.